so we got all So just heading to, um, we're over here in Myama, um, the border of Chuka and Myama here, and just heading down to the Oval to do a bit of running. So um, tick legs over for a Friday, so Friday morning. So yeah, let's get it. Shocker, eh? Windy. <laughs> what do you think about the humans? Yeah, no, they're good, man. Love them. Um, they got some sick boots coming out next year, so if you're not on them, I persuade you to get on them because you're missing out, trust me. Comfy as too. Like I can just whack a brand new pair on and just yeah. stroll into a game, like no yeah, blisters. Don't, don't have to wear them Nah, nah, they don't hurt the feet. So it's good. Steve Reed, I'm Harley's uncle, so I'm Mark's brother. Usually we do a agility running session and yeah. the goal kicking just to try and wear him out first and then make him, you know, finish with skill yep. while he's tired. So do a bit of that and then we might go do a bit of a uh, MMA slash jujitsu session as well for yeah, cardio. Nice. But yeah, no, we try and do it at least once a week just to keep, keep things oh post season's been three times a week but during the season once a week. Once so, a week. Yeah. Oh, hey, is it said owner? Yeah you do that. Just do it try. Don't want you ripping your hammy on baseline. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So we sort of started, probably, yeah, started last year. So when things started getting a bit serious with pies and all that. So, you know, a bit of goal kicking, just polishing up some skills. So yeah. I always do the same thing with him I do with my, my little kids. So yeah. it's just all those fundamentals. Put a bit of pepper on it. Look at that. And the ass bang. <laughs> um, I want a pipe, I think. <laughs> Man. <laughs> Must be concrete. <laughs> the grass is actually hard. <laughs> I actually can't get that in. Yeah. <laughs> Pick the ball up and then go left or right. Yeah, that's right. Hit the goal. Bang! <laughs> When I'm like this, is that good? Most of my mates play locally around here, yeah. so I suppose their training is a lot different to what I need to do. Yeah. But um, again, they still come out and have a kick with me. But it's probably more just a bit of fun and games when I go for a kick with them, which which I highly enjoy more than all this. But again, like it's hard. There's no one really else in the same position around my area back here. So again, like it's. It's, it's annoying at times, but again, it's good. Like, Pyres was good. A few boys in the state combined that. Got to train with them for a bit, but yeah. Trying to get sponsorship. Me? Yeah. With who? Yeah. <laughs> no, I was just... <laughs> well, I was lucky enough to play... Um, I would train with the AFL squad for Essendon in the pre-season. Yeah, so obviously you played two games with Carlton at the start. That was obviously a great opportunity and experience to do that. And I was lucky enough to fly to Goldie with the Essendon VFL and play Southport over there. So 
that was a great experience too and really enjoyed that. Great bunch of blokes to either side too, so that was good. How about that hanger against Southport? Yeah, um, <laughs> no, nah, that, one, that one was, I've, oh, I always try to take one here and there, but um, yeah, all the boys at half time were just going off, so no, nah, it was good, it was good. Did your dad play much? Did you yeah, he played over 400 games for Tony. Yeah. He played a fair few. Um, he was always known for his like hangers and stuff, so we always we always have a bet who can take the best one. And he's still leading. I thought that SM1 would have nearly got him, but it hasn't. But I suppose I can't complain with the one he's talking. Yeah. Make sure you get his reaction when he gets in the ice bath, because there's always plenty of carry on. So. <laughs> What's on the playlist? Oh, it differs. Yeah, you just jump on a bloody game, mate. A minute and a half round of games. Yeah. We get heaps of footage in that. So just, oh, let's go. Some one, two. Good. That's it. Nice kicks. Good. That one hurt. That's good. No. <laughs> So we just do stuff that he can use in footy, yeah. and more concepts on being aware of where his body is and where his opponent's body is, and that's what we sort of work on. So we do things like arm drags, so we're in, nice and tight, we're breaking down posture and taking them down. So Harley, you show us a few of those ones. Bang, yep, down, it's good. <laughs> That's it. I remember the one where we're sort of reaching out. Yeah. And grab the arm. Yeah. Down. Yeah. Good. We have body lock one, so arms up. Pull in, head, break posture down, go forward. Yeah. We don't do this one because you can mess each other up too much, so but on the field it's fine, so we're all up. Bang. Remember, try and use your head too. Yeah. Lift it up. So head under the chin. Okay. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, good. <laughs> that's sort of the main ones we do for footy for now. Um, we do do a lot of other stuff too, just to muck around, so try and teach him an arm bar or two. But <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, push ups, straight punches, squat jumps, push up. <laughs> Still dressed in like he's a baby. <laughs> this is not even fing <laughs> <it all. laughs> Get my hands over here, did that? They're too small for you. Yeah, right. Try those red buttons. Yeah, nah, drop. <laughs> Alright, you ready? Yeah. Alright, go. I have to start here, sorry. Here you go. <laughs> my bad. <laughs> to shock his body. You don't, it's not about sitting there for five, 10 minutes, about yep. three minutes shock. Get out, hot shock, yep. get out, cold shock, and back and forward. Sure. All right, two minutes, three minutes. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> it's the start against you. Just breathe. <laughs> Move the water out, basically. 
<laughs> Try that once. <laughs> cold as it's been. Yeah, that's, that's good today. <laughs> You've done it on purpose. How cold do you reckon it is? Uh, what do you reckon the temps in there? Three. Three degrees. Three, four. Yep. Yeah, something like that. Just needs to be under 10. Got got into now, really, because I probably know the consequences of if you don't do a bit of recovery, obviously. Yep. And um, yeah, um, I was probably, g growing up, probably junior wise, never. Never. Never did it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Man, I'll <laughs> shiver. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> Now sauna for 15. But definitely, yeah, you feel great. Like, no matter what, first thing Monday morning, jump in there. Yeah. Like, you feel awesome. Do you do it daily? Do you do it? Yeah, sauna every day. Every and then day. that twice a week. Yeah. When you're in, you're in. Like, there's yeah. no, you know, you're yeah. committed. Shower, you can sort of. You can, you can get out. You can get well, out. Plus get the, in. Uh, the running water, too. Yeah. The whole time. Yeah. The, yeah. the water torture. Yeah, you gotta get, get back in the best part. <laughs> The pool. Second time's bad. <laughs> oh, you head part of the ice too. <laughs> Game over. Don't dust. Oh. And play some four. Go away around until 12 30. Oh, do you? Yeah. Yeah, go through. Get some victory royales from the boys. Yeah, they would love that. <laughs> doing like a QA thing now. Yeah, right. So, I said I would do it. I'm going to return my laptop anyway. Yeah, cool. All right. <laughs> Good day. No work on it, but no school work. Hard to write screen. Yep. <laughs> Just any highlights. Yeah. It's a little playroom. This is where the real magic happens. <laughs> Fortnite. Bit more combat. He's got the gritty. You play much? Nah, nah, nah. I probably just more just socialise with mates or we'll head out the river, go for wakeboard or fish with the boys. But yeah, yeah, just probably get outside, really enjoy the fresh air, enjoy the weather, really when it's warm. Yeah. Then play a bit of fort. <laughs> play, play a bit of fort. <laughs> I'm dropping tilted at the moment. Yeah. The OG maps out. Uh, no 2K, no FIFA. Yeah, 2K actually, if I 2K a bit. 2K? Yeah, yeah 2K's on the left. You sound like a kid. <laughs> two people left, two. Storm's gonna come in, but the trouble. Oh, you got him. You don't know I'm here, but what's this? What's my gun doing? You see that? Why is that not? Seven kills. <laughs> me done. Yeah, so we're heading to my old school. Um, heading there to do, just do a bit of a talk and like a little Q&A question and probably just like, or a few activities too. So I think there's gonna be two other blokes too there doing it with me, ex-pioneers too, who I played with this year. And I think one of them played big country too, I think, as in Q Vern. So yeah, so that should be good. Just a little chat and yeah, 
with the year seven, eight, and nine. So. Put him on that boy hair. Yeah, it's beautiful, mate. Low maintenance in that. Oh yeah, good bike. Oh, what shorts? Yeah, I had a pair of those 25 years ago. Future first rounder. Yeah, future first rounder, Roddy. Future first rounder. Second rounder. Second rounder. Second rounder. Yeah, go. He's got number one. First rounder, number two. Go. Put him on. He's better than Harley Reid. You film him, you film him. Go. He's better than Harley Reid. Better than Harley Reid. Oi, get him on baseline basketball. Get me. Better than Harley Reid. Only 16 going first round. Two years draft. Yeah, players this year. Yep. You'll have to get used to if you end up in the AFL system is to take on constructive feedback because it's everywhere. If you were to identify one strength of each other's game and one thing they need to develop a bit further, what would that be? Harles. Harles is obviously explosive out of the pack. That's probably his strength. His weakness though would be not passing enough for me, <laughs> especially. <laughs> <laughs> Don't even say that. Um, Ollie, probably similar to, similar to Hugh, probably that the quickness. Um, no, he's he's pretty quick from the get go. Um, and then probably work on probably his laugh. <laughs> Not the best laugh. And then Huey, obviously his aerial contest work. He's he's good with that. And um, yeah, obviously playing with him, being high up the ground and having him deep four was always good. Looking for him every time, which I did. To work on probably. I don't know, probably just grow a little bit, be a key player, yeah. And Harley, obviously, he's got that stiff arm, which is probably, everyone, everyone knows his sort of strengths, and I reckon there's a couple of games this year where he, he couldn't really kick straight, like the two big sticks were the ones you aim for. <laughs> Nowhere bad, but he near it, yeah. <laughs> All right, last few questions, then we might go with a few crowd questions. Um, what to each of you boys, what's been the highlight of your St Joseph's College career? I was a bit unlucky not to play this year as much as I wanted to, but in year eight I was got to run out along these boys too, and we had a great bunch of boys, and we played we played at uh, Craigieburn, Bet Roville, so that was probably one of the best highlights from my schooling. Yeah. When you get to year 12, you realise how good your teachers are and like how much you want to look after them to make their day easier when they come to school. So that's been a real big part of my St. Joe's journeys. The teachers are awesome and I love coming here each day. Advice you give to the crowd out here, if any of them are interested in AFL or AFLW career, what would be your advice for that? Um, oh, obviously, probably just trying to find good habits. Um, I probably struggled with that at the start last year. Like I've learnt so much that I never thought I would have. Um, I probably wasn't the, the brightest, smartest kid with some of my, the decisions I would make, but um, yeah, I kind of get to a point where you realise and it's probably where you mature up a bit. Congratulations, boys. You've been brilliant this year and all the very best for whatever happens next. Um, good work and thanks for coming in. Much appreciated. Headed at a local school here in Chuka, St. Joseph's College of Chuka. Um, I was lucky enough to finish year 12 here, here from year 7 to year 12 and trained this morning and then headed here for like QA with the with the, the young pups from the school. So yeah, I was lucky enough to do it with two Bendigo boys that I spent the year with over in Bendigo Pioneers. So as in Hugh Byrne and Ollie Pool. So yeah, I enjoyed my day and great bunch of people here. So cheers. Keen to get drafted. Let's go. Nice.